Today is survival of the fittest. Come on! So this video is here to celebrate the launch of the new Vanquish Lifting Club collection. So by the time you are watching this video, that collection will be live. So if you want to go and get anything, make sure you shop through the link in my description. That will help me out a lot and support me. Obviously, wait until the end of the video. So I put together a series of challenges which are going to test these guys to the absolute max and there are some serious prizes up for grabs. Fifth place gets a 50 pound voucher. Fourth place gets a 100 pound voucher. Third place gets a 150 pound voucher. Second place gets a 250 pound cash prize. And first place gets a 500 pound cash prize. Again, a massive thank you to Vanquish for making this video possible. And also a huge shout out to Next Gen Fitness for letting us host the challenge here. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Right boys, so the first challenge is as follows. You're all gonna line up in a press up position. You will be going to my command, down and up. So I control the timing. So if I say down and I don't say up, you stay down obviously without touching the floor. Me and my invigilator, she's taking it very seriously, okay? If we see you guys touch the floor, you are eliminated immediately, okay? Two people will be going out in this challenge. Remember boys, you don't have to win this challenge, you just have to not be in the bottom two. Everyone on their hands and the press up position, please. Right, everyone ready? Let's go down, up, down, up, down. Remember, if I don't stay up, stay there. Stay down. Up, down, up, down. Up. Some shaky arms here. Down. Ah, uh, one down, stay there boys, up! Down! Survival of the fittest boys, survival of the fittest. Up! Down! Up! Down! Up! Down! Up! Down! Oh, it's alright, boys. Okay. Wow. That lasted a lot longer than I expected. Boys, sorry, man. You are. You guys are out of the first stage. How do you feel? Is that tough. It was hard. No, it wasn't tough. It was just the workout I did yesterday. It just didn't help. It didn't help chest day. No, no, no. Legs and chest. Yeah. That doesn't make sense. Okay. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry, you guys are out, boys. Great effort. Right, boys. Congratulations to the ten that made it through. The next challenge is pull-ups, okay? We're going for an underhand grip, so chin-ups. I wanna see, and me and my invigilator wanna see, you guys go in full extension, chin above the bar. So this is what I'm after. Underhand grip, let yourself hang, chin up. You can go as fast as you want, obviously it's down to you. We're going for the most amount of reps, okay? So the two people with the fewest amount of reps will be eliminated and, no, and not make it through to the next round. Then we're going alphabetical order, Alex. <laughs> okay, so here in the second challenge for survival of the fittest, we have pull-ups to failure. And up first, we have Alex. Alex weighed in at about 70 kg, so he was one of the lightest people at the competition. As you can see, he was not messing about here. He was flying through these reps. Proper military star pull-ups and racking up a good score count. Setting a high score for himself early on here was extremely important because he did not know what the other lads were going to bring to the table. Towards the end, his chin wasn't quite getting above the bar, so I had to call it a day there, but that was an impressive score nonetheless. Next up we had Dan. Dan was definitely a unit but I was intrigued to see how he would get on with a bodyweight challenge like pull-ups and to be honest from the get-go he looked really comfortable. Extremely good form, getting that chin right above the bar. The reps were looking easier than I thought they would be for him and like I said I knew he was going to be strong but sometimes strength doesn't correlate to these type of bodyweight exercises and he's carrying a lot of muscle so sometimes it can be hard to shift that weight but again another impressive score and a score I think will be hard to beat. Next up we had Daryl. Now this guy is an absolute giant. He was far too tall for this pull up bar, but we made it work. He started off the reps nice and powerfully, getting good full extension and getting his chin right up above the bar. But you could see not too long into the reps, he started to slow down and he started swinging quite a bit. And I know from experience that when you start to swing on pull-ups, it really throws you off and it challenges you even more. He somehow managed to keep pulling through the reps, even though he looked like he was struggling. And by using a little bit of momentum, managed to gain a few extra reps. 13 is a decent score, but there are some strong guys here. So we'll see if it holds up. Next up, we have Ed, another absolute unit and someone who I wasn't sure how they were going to 
to hold up on a pull-up challenge. And from the off, if this challenge wasn't hard enough, Ed was making it even harder. He was performing the movement as if you were trying to target the muscles as opposed to just getting the reps done. He was really slow throughout the whole movement, whereas to get a lot of reps done, you really need to be nice and fast and powerful. It, he made it so much harder than it needed to be, and I really think he would have got more. But he ties with Daryl here with 13 reps, and these guys go joint bottom. Next up we have George. From my analysis in the press up challenge he looked pretty comfortable so I thought going into this he would be quite strong at pull ups and as you can see he was really powerful. In fact he was so powerful he nearly pulled the whole bar over so we needed to get the whole army around it to make sure it was secure. He was flying through these reps and I was confident he was going to go past the bottom two at 13 reps. Another great score of 16 reps which means so far Alex, Dan and George are comfortably through to the next round. Next up we have Hilmi, another one of the lighter contestants at the challenge today and he made absolute mincemeat out of these pull-ups. He flew through the reps and I think because he knew he only needed to beat 13, he kind of slowed down a bit towards the end but he got a good score of 16 reps and again is comfortably through to the next round. Next up we have Panache. Straight from the off I can safely say he was completing these pull-ups the quickest out of anyone here so far. Again all he needed to do was beat 13 reps in order to make it through to the next round but he really wanted to show us what he had so he pushed and pushed all the way to take the number one spot with 20 reps on pull-ups and Panache makes it safely through to the next round. I'm loving the team spirit here, everyone's cheering everyone on, it's really great to see. Now next up we have Sander. Now he was one of the biggest guys at this competition so I was really interested to see if he was going to be able to move that muscle on an exercise like pull-ups. I've got to say from early on he looked really comfortable his form was excellent and the speed at which he was moving was something that really surprised me and he didn't show any signs of slowing down throughout the reps even though he only needed to beat 13 to make it through to the next round he really wanted to go all the way and an unbelievable score of 20 reps so we have two contestants left to go and next up we have Scott. Scott travelled a long way to be here, so I really wanted him to go far in the competition. Straight away I noticed his pull-up form was a little bit different to the others. He was pulling himself quite far away from the bar. And again, similar to Ed earlier on, he was controlling the rep on the way down, which places a lot more tension on the muscles and makes the reps a lot harder to complete. And here he is absolutely pushing for that 14th rep, but he just couldn't get it. <laughs> So we're coming to an interesting ending here of the pull-up challenge. Three people are currently on 13 reps, when only two are going to be eliminated. Sim comfortably flew through these reps, which now means there will need to be some sort of sudden death between the remaining three contestants, and only one of those three will make it through to the next round. We have an interesting one here. We've got three lads that have got 13 reps so the only fair thing to do is each of you get to go again all fatigued see as many reps as you can get so here we go daryl's second attempt on the first round he hit 13 reps so with the determination to make it through to the next round let's see how many reps he can get And amazingly here, Daryl has managed to match his reps of the first set. That sets a really high bar. Let's see how Ed gets on. One thing Ed has in his favour here is that on the first set, he performed the reps really slowly. So if he just performs the reps with a bit more speed, I'm sure he'll rack up a good number. He needs to at least beat 13 to be in with a chance of getting through to the next round. And then he has to hope that Scott doesn't beat his score. As you can see, the change in technique is really helping Ed here and he's absolutely flying past 13, which means sadly for Daryl, he will definitely be eliminated. Oh. Ed has smashed his previous score out of the park and has made it really hard for Scott to beat his score. Let's remember, Scott only managed 13 on his first round, so let's see how he gets on. Pick on the way down, two. That's it. There you go. Three, there you go. Four, use those legs to get you up. Come on. Five, let's go. Push it. Six. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Up. Hey, come on, let's go! Come on, come on, come on, come on, let's go, let's go! Come on, come on, let's go! Go on, let's go! Come 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 on, let's
，哎呀妈！等等，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，对，Right, guys. So here we go. Deadlift one rep maxes. We're starting off with 100 kg on the bar, and we will be working up that weight until two people can't lift it and they get eliminated. I expect all eight of these to easily get through this first round. So let's see how they get on. Right, we've now got 120 kg on the bar, and we've still got eight people in. Right, 140 on the bar and still eight people in. I'm hoping now we're going to get some exits. So Sim is the first man to be eliminated. Let's see if anyone else will go out this round. Now, Alex has proven that he is a strong guy, but would you believe it if I told you that this is his first time ever deadlifting? Will he have 140 in the bag? Let's see. I think my reaction there says it all. Hilmi is the last one to attempt 140 kg, and he gets through it with ease. Right, one man got eliminated there. We just need one more person to go out, and then we are through to the final rounds. Boys, 150 kg on the bar. Ed, Ed you're up. Come on, Ed. Ed, Sim, come on, Ed. I'm done. Okay, people, so we have reset the scoreboards as Sim has been eliminated. First up to attempt 150 kg is Ed. I can't lie, he flew through 140 kg and he's absolutely flown through 150 kg. Next up, we have the big man Sander. I can't imagine this being a problem for him and it certainly wasn't. Now, I know you guys might be thinking, this is a bit unfair. How can bigger guys be competing against smaller guys for a deadlift one rep max? But think about it. These big guys have had to make it through two bodyweight challenges in order to get to this stage. Which, if you're thinking this is unfair, as they are heavier, so they're more likely to be stronger, then by that theory, the bodyweight challenges should have been harder for them. But they made it through those rounds, so it's brought them to this point. Right, so we've gone from 150 to 160. Obviously, typically two people are going out, but it looks like probably a few people are going to go out here and we're not going to start going in between just to help people get through. So if more than two people happen to go out on this, then that's just going to be what it's going to be. So if only five make it through or four make it through, then that's just how it's going to be. If you all lift here, we're going to have to go to 170, okay? Okay, so we have Ed up first to lift 160 kg. As you can see, the remaining challenges have proven their strength, so I've slightly changed the rules. As opposed to only two people getting eliminated, whoever makes this lift will get through to the next round, and whoever can't make this lift will get knocked out, even if that means more than two people get eliminated on this round. If all contestants successfully lift 160 kg, then we'll have to go to 170 kg. Still need one person to go out at least. We've now got 170 on the bar. Let's go, Edwards. Okay, so first up to lift 170 kg, we have Ed. And yet again, he gets through it easily. Next up, we have Sander, another easy lift. Now, Panache, he seriously looked comfortable on these deadlifts all the way through and again looks comfortable there. And next up, we have George, another man who hasn't looked phased throughout these challenges and another comfy lift for him. Now, we've got Dan to lift 170 and again, a comfortable lift. Now, it's Alex's turn. Remember, he's never deadlifted in his life. Can he get it? Oh. <laughs> But to be fair, 70 kg body weight, never deadlifted before. Yeah, boys, let's give him another round of applause. Come on, that's
Well done, well done. Well done. Hey, hey, me. Your last attempt. Go. Go. All the way. Win. Run, 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 bad. Right, um, true for me, how do you feel? I mean, you've done your back there. I've done my back. Probably need two new QLs. I've got, I've got insurance just today, you know. <laughs> so, covered. But no, 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 it was good fun. It was good fun. Yeah, yeah. good effort, mate. Well done. Ladies and gentlemen, we made it to the final five contestants. Final challenge for our top five places to get their prizes. So without further ado, let's make our way outside to the final challenge. Boys, congratulations, making it to the top five. You guys are all going away with something, but what you go away with, obviously, goes from 50 pound voucher all the way to top place, which is gonna go away with 500 pound cash. Just your friendly reminder, whilst everyone is standing here looking great in the new Vanquish Lifting Club collection, to make sure you shop through my link in the description. That collection is now live. Back to the video. The final challenge, boys. It is Go. testing your ultimate strength over distance. Okay, we've got a farmer's carry with a trap bar. Okay, so the bar needs to start behind the plates there, the markers. Okay, and then they need to make you need to make sure you cross that line on the way there. We're seeing who can go the furthest, alright? And we're gonna mark every single person's distance, and then in that order you will finish from fifth to first, okay? So people, the final five contestants remaining. Dan, Ed, George, Panache and Sander. 100 kg on the trap bar and we're looking to see who can go the furthest to win the 500 pound cash prize. All their distances will be kept note of and in order from one to five, that will be the places they finish in and will then be going away with the prizes for the place that they finish. Dan has been an extremely good competitor throughout these challenges and he's looking pretty strong here. Three and a quarter, Dan. Well done. We wait to see your fate, mate. Okay, so we have Ed up next. Ed proved from how easily he flew through the deadlifts that he's an extremely strong guy. So a challenge like this will probably play into his field. Let's see if he can beat three and a quarter lengths. So Ed has beaten Dan's score of three and a quarter lengths and is currently sitting in the top spot. He now needs to get as far as he possibly can in order to make sure that he is not beaten. Oh, that was very impressive next up we have george george has almost quietly just glided through to the final stages he hasn't really looked too phased by any of the challenges and he's played rugby his whole life so an exercise like this should be his bread and butter let's see if he can beat ed's score good effort how'd you feel Lucky man. Yeah. <laughs> Tough after all that. Survival of the fittest, isn't it? Yeah. Horrible. It's good work, mate. Let's see how you end up. You're not going to be first, but you might be second. Okay, yeah. You. In order to win, it needs to be seven and a quarter laps. How do you think you're going to be on? I'm doing eight. That's the attitude. I liked it. Let's go, Panache. So here we go. Panache's attempt. He seems pretty confident going into this. The scores currently stand Ed at top, George second, and Dan third. If Panache wants to get first, he'll need to beat seven and a quarter lengths. And if he wants to get second, he'll have to beat George's attempt, which was just under five lengths. And to avoid finishing last, he needs to beat three and a quarter lengths. Let's see how he gets on. You are at the very least going away with third place. You might sneak second if um, Sander doesn't get further. <laughs> but oh. listen, these boys, not only have they got to do this now, but they've had quite a few challenges to go through. So how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I can go again. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the final contestant to go, looking to go away with 500 pound cash. You need to be seven and a quarter. Length. Yeah? Yep. You ready for it? Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Okay, so here we go. The final contestant, Sander, to attempt the farmer's carry. If he can beat seven and a quarter lengths, he will take the title. He has proven in every single challenge that he's got what it takes. So let's see how he gets on.
So here we go guys, the moment of truth. He's looking extremely strong. He's hit seven lengths now. Can he beat Ed's score of seven and a quarter to take the top spot? He's done it. Sander is finished top. I mean, as soon as he beat seven and a quarter lengths, he could have stopped, but he decided to go on. So let's just leave him to do his thing and then we'll celebrate after. How you feeling, bro? I'm feeling good, bro. Feeling good, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's light work for him. Bro. Right, so our final five guys in fifth place. Dan, how'd you feel? Fifty pound voucher. Yeah, it's yeah. good. You enjoyed the experience? Yeah, really good. Yeah. yeah? I just thought you got on at the end there. Yeah, yeah quick show something. Do you think if you didn't go first, you might have got a little bit of motivation mm, to go a bit further? Yeah, probably. To be fair. Yeah, yeah, a bit of a shampoo, but... £50 voucher. Cheers, mate. Enjoy. Don't spend it all at once. George. Everyone give him a cup. Surviving with the fittest from fifth place, George. How would you feel? Yeah, good. Fourth place. Warming up. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, give it all that. £100 voucher for Vanquish. Cheers, mate. Kodash. £150, how would you feel? Voucher. Oh, for goodness, I didn't think I was going to come top five, so... That's Happy. impressive to be the top two, Ed, £250. Boys, this is all Will, Leo, come here and have a look, please. Cash money, man. Cash money. Cash, 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 cash. I'm going to gonna have to count this all out because um, I could put it all together like an idiot. Uh, <laughs> five, there's 100. <laughs> 200. And... I'll take the 60, I'll take the 100. It's on me, man. I'll give you the right man. I think there's a tenner extra in here, but... Um, I'll have to that. count it out, but the grand winner, course. £500. Enjoy that, bro. Top Guys, five. if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Comment down below if you want to see me do another video like this again, because we will be coming back with bigger and better prizes. Follow me on all my socials. Thank you to everyone who got involved. Make sure you shop Vanquish through my link, and I'll see you all in the next video. Come on, boys. Come on, boys.